for a single line with auto pay plus taxes and fees when you bring your own phone with unlimited welcome. That's a saving. Amazing. You guys are great. So we're gonna start with a water-based product that layers really well both underneath products but also on top of products. Um, I often like to do what I call a glowy super gel sandwich where I start and end my routine to teach this kind of like fingertip, hands-free routine. Um, the essence of say is really like the way that I'm going to apply this it is at your hand if you like, but this is just a few times. I'm gonna do one pump across each cheek. And then I'm gonna take the big brush and blend downwards. It feels like an ice cube for the skin. It really wakes the skin up. And supercharged ingredients in it. We have papaya seed extract. We also have um, glycerin and argan. Who uses this currently? as their glowy base, their glowy press step. Glowiest glass skin finish. And I know you're particularly passionate about SPF. Do you want to tell us why it's so important and also why ours is unique? About one and a half pumps on the back of our hand melt into the skin and take on the distributed. And then we're going to take on the skin. Is that you don't need it everywhere. Even for those, what's gonna give you the most How's everyone's shape? Good? Amazing. Perfect match. Happy to hear it. Literally. It's really natural looking. It's so good. Leading <laughs> right for your under eyes. eyes. It's really it as if on the a table, but I need to grab it. But other people have their lights. Really has a light. Beautiful baby. Do I not have um, any? And yeah. what's so... Look, this is the lady. It's polished, it's easy, it's great for the better feel. Do we have, oh my gosh, that's a good. I would have to say, slip tin, if I was like on a desert island, I would need it, because the sunscreen, and it's just like my go-to for juicy, happy looking skin, and like always makes me feel confident, but in myself. Yeah. Um, yeah. You guys are good too. No, this is actually oh, such a Oh, cool. thank you. Um, but come find me. I'll be floating around. Um, I'd love to meet you. It's my boo. Hi. 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 No, literally me about her. And it's us two, two day, I mean, two seats apart. I was late. You saw I was late. And I actually late. I know. And I was like, I bet you Jay's gonna be there and she's on time. Cause she's I was Argo. Like, was early. Your hair looks so good. Did you just get it done? Yeah. Hey. Today's it out. Love it. I love Back it. Back in my in it. Yeah, it looks really good. You guys, I'm at Blue Jam Cafe with Jeep. Hi. We're literally, we're gonna have lunch. I. I haven't even said hello to you guys or like anything. Hello, hi, how are you? Good morning, what's goody? <laughs> it's Saturday. I was running so late. I woke up at 10.10 10 and the event started at 10. I took the quickest shower of my life and got dressed and I was so happy that I didn't have to show up with makeup on because it was like a master class. So yeah, but we're here now. Happy Saturday. We're outside. We're outside. It's really the skin for me. You have to order on a QR code or you can order inside. Jade's ordering inside. I'm waiting for her to come back out. Okay, so I got the breakfast burrito and I added chicken sausage and then I got an iced, a dirty chai. And it looks so good. I literally can't wait to eat. And then it comes with a side of potatoes. I'm literally starving. You guys, it's the way I'm on Melrose now. It's just me. I'm going to the House of CV store to look at some dresses because my birthday is actually next week, literally, and I have no idea what I'm doing, but I also just don't have an outfit. So, hi you guys! Wait, let me angle it down a little. 
wait and i forgot that i need to buy a new tripod oh my god <laughs> stop don't move don't move don't move it's literally moving oh my god you guys it's the way my camera died so i'm filming on my other camera that i'm taking with me but the, the tripod for this one is shorter but anyway let's just get into the outfit real quick because i called the uber and it's probably downstairs but this dress you guys have seen this before from zora okay my boots my fave sharp dupe boots from macy's this jacket is a pretty little thing i know i know i know and the bag is amazon oh crap. i hope that wasn't too dark i didn't even do my lip but i literally have to go so i'll see you guys in the car or something i don't freaking know i hope you can see that was probably a better place to stand okay i'm in a rush <gasps> just got here hi vloggy how are you guys so cute
shoulders if you're wearing something a little more open. Uh huh. What's the name of this shade? This one is. Ooh. That's pretty. You'll have to forgive me. It's okay. a little dark in my eyes. Let me see. Oh, and it's so tiny. It's tiny. <laughs> If you know Stila, that's their like yeah. best selling. That is, is it, what is it already? Um, it's, an eyeshadow? Well, or? It's, it's an eyeshadow, it's a highlighter. It, um, it was. I know my Stila. this yesterday y'all why was I filming on it being on dark mode but good morning happy Thursday today's Thursday I'm literally headed to a wax appointment right now that I was honestly gonna skip but I'm like you know what it hurts less when I stay on top of going because my hair doesn't grow out as long it don't even, it's not even like really thick. And it's kind of sparse. I don't even know if you guys can hear me because of the wind. But yeah, I'm going to my last appointment right now. Okay, so I just finished getting the cooter. The cooter cat waxed. <laughs> and now I'm in this uh, shopping center that's literally across the street from European. Because I saw on, on a sign, wait, these people are literally standing online for something and I wanna know what. But I literally saw a sign up there that says that there's a far-fetched store. Now I wanna know, where is it? I really want to know. Oh, look, these people are online for Udon. Don't ask me how I'm in Macy's right now. But they have the Laura Mercier family that literally everyone's been raving about on TikTok. Why do I kind of want to try it? And I don't know why I'm in here. I think it's because it started to rain and I got annoyed that I couldn't find the Farfetch. I'm back home, clearly. Um, I gave up on my search for Farfetch, yeah, because I went into Macy's and I asked one of the employees and they was like, people are always asking about that, that, um, place but they don't think that it's actually a store that it might actually just be like an office and if that's the case they need to take it off they need to take it off the blood clot sign take it take it down from the blood <laughs> take it off the sign i don't know why that annoyed me it's because i'm hungry and when i'm hungry i get a little hangry i'm starving right now like i was in my wax appointment legs butterfly stomach growling and I know she was trying to talk over it, but like, that was a little embarrassing. <laughs> I have a full list of things to do today. I need to go to the tailor and pick up something that I dropped off yesterday. I need to go to the bank. I need to go to the gym. And then I have an event later on at 7 p.m. And I'm going with one of my friends. I'm bringing my girlfriend, Brianna, with me. So we're going to do that. And it's going to be in West Hollywood later, which I'm actually really excited about because I always love going over there. <laughs> Whenever I'm in West Hollywood, I feel like I just have a good time. It'd be expensive as hell over there. But like, I like it. It's very bougie. And I like to get out of downtown. Like yesterday's event was really cute. I don't feel like I gave you guys like, I don't know how I even ended off last night. Actually, I didn't even vlog. So after the event me and hillary walked like two blocks over to this like speakeasy bar that's in the arts district that is super good like super nice very cute like just like honestly it gives me new york vibes like whenever i step into that bar especially because it's like down below below ground and it just has like a very nice ambiance it gives me New York vibes. So like we went there and we had we sat at the bar and we had 
drinks i had lemon drops the espresso martinis at the event were bussing um but yeah it was a really cute night and yeah me and hillary were just like you know having girl chat at the bar i love it you guys i'm running so late but i literally called my uber and it's downstairs so i have to go but i want to show you my outfit really quickly but you probably i'll also just show you at the event and my shirt keeps like unbuttoning but i have on this little white top from pure little thing this long leather maxi skirt oh crap. my silver pumps um from miss lola i have on silver jewelry my chanel earrings i love the way i did my makeup looks so good my jacket is zara this is bothering me because like why are you doing that but yeah i gotta go you guys i literally just got to the event and it's raining so everyone's kind of hiding from the rain at the bar but it's literally raining right now and this is like all outside i'm with my boo brianna Hi. <laughs> i'm vlogging Hi. i look i want to drink i know i do too yeah it's this girl taking photos in the rain and her man is just getting wet and just taking her photos that is true love okay so they got a cute little drink menu <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so they have this really cute little station where you write yourself a letter and then you like put these scent notes in it, I think, and then they're gonna mail it to me in a year. That's to future you. Isn't that so cute? What do I want to say to future me? Like this? Yeah, like it looks so good. got my letter to my future self I put some lavender and sage in it and then we're gonna get it sealed Happy Friday! Bent it out. Happy Friday, you guys. What's up, vloggy vlog? Literally, hold on. Literally, yesterday, um, I went to that event, yeah? I went to the, I believe it's Dien Day. I went to that event at the One Hotel with Brianna. And it was so cute. It was just raining, which was very unfortunate. It's actually going to rain, like most of this upcoming week which is also very unfortunate because it's gonna rain on my birthday <laughs> i don't know if i mentioned that already in this vlog but it's like stressing me out actually but um yeah it was raining and then it kind of stopped and then the part the event kind of got a little bit better but then it was over it was literally only two hours and i got there at eight it started at seven and ended at nine and i got there literally at eight o'clock on the dot which is fine i still got content i got really cute photos i'm actually gonna put one right here but to see the rest of them you gotta go follow me on instagram and go give it a double tip oh crrr. go show your girl some love the outfit came out so freaking cute i was like gagged and i got a lot of compliments on my leather maxi skirt that i was wearing and everybody was so shocked that it was plt and i'm like no literally like same i was shocked too but like it's such an eat it looked so good so yeah now it's the next day i'm literally dressed for the gym i have on another plt outfit let me show you this is a really cute two-piece set in this like sage green color and it's literally like snatching me i'm about to eat and I'm like girl but yeah isn't it so cute I have on this super cute set. I'm actually about to go take um, some videos on my roof of my building. And I just made myself some breakfast. Even though it's 12 o'clock. 
but i just made myself a little avocado toast there are days where i wake up and i know exactly what i want to eat as soon as i wake up like literally my first thought is like food like i literally open my eyes and I'm like food and today was one of those days like i literally woke up out of my sleep and i was like i want avocado toast with a sunny side up egg and turkey bacon and i had all of that in my fridge amen thank you god like you gotta thank god that you be having food you know oh my god wait and then look at this really cute fanny pack that i got like you can wear it like this obviously or you can wear it i would have to tighten the straps but you can wear it like this isn't that so cute and i like how it has all these different little pockets i feel like i could carry everything i need honestly in here if i'm like running errands you know if i want to look cute literally i'm actually so excited i have a mound of pr packages right here to open but before i even get to that i am so excited about this package that i'm about to open with you guys because one we're gonna unbox it together but two i got new gym shows as you guys know i literally go to the gym five days out of the week my current gym sneakers have been run into the ground they are literally they're they're honestly beat i think i've had those shoes for like six years yeah so i've literally run my current sneakers into the ground and i wanted a new pair of gym sneakers something that was stylish cute comfortable but like cute and comfortable like those are the two main things like i need to be able to obviously work out in these shoes literally every single day of the week but i also want them to be cute to like go with all my cute little workout outfits that i do that i have and i want them to be great great quality for working out those are literally like my things that i were looking that i was looking for when i was looking for new gym sneakers and i found the cutest trainers on the poison site shout out to poison for sponsoring this portion of the weekly vlog video literally i'm about to open these sneakers up with you guys so that we can see because i don't even know like what they look like right now like, let us open these together the way like i <laughs> You guys uh, basically the poison site is where you can find trendy sneakers you can find hard to get sneakers basically sneakers that you see online that you're like mm, i don't know about this like i don't know if i'm gonna be able to find these or get my hands on these you can find them on the poison site and they actually will authenticate your sneakers before they send them to you so they get sent to poison first for authentication to make sure that they're legit and real and then they send them to you so i found these really cute look and it comes in a cute little bubble wrap to protect them new balances oh i'm so excited literally like when i tell you i haven't bought myself new these are so cute <laughs> you guys look at how cute these are stop aren't these so freaking cute this is so me like these this is my kind of shoe like these are so sick look at those oh my gosh i love them and they're they're so trendy they're so stylish but like you could tell that these are going to be really great in the gym too like new balances new balances are great sneakers for the gym so you got the the authentication um tags on here with your little um qr code so you can look up and see like you know the specs of your shoe and then you also get an authentic an authentication certificate in your shoe box as well letting you know that your sneakers were authenticated and that they are real and legit and you know the real deal and you guys can actually shop the poison site using my limited and exclusive discount code i'll have it on the screen for you guys as well as down in the description box below so yeah like i said every single pair is authenticated to make sure that they are legit before they're sent to you so yeah go check it out go check out the site check out these sneakers you get a discount code on this style of shoe um i literally love them i'm actually about to put them on now i want to see what they give with my whole outfit so yeah let's do that it's the way benson is all up in my business he 
you know, so my shoes go on. That means mommy's going somewhere. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Wait, why are these so freaking cute though? But I didn't know they were gonna be this cute. This is the way I'll be mashing up my sneakers. These are so cute. You guys, these are so freaking cute. Like I'm actually, let me cut this off. And they're really comfortable. They're so comfortable. Maybe. Ooh. Okay, Benson. Okay, duty. Okay, papa. Okay, watch out. Go here. Go here. Sit down. Thank you. Yeah, literally, I'm obsessed with these. These are so cute. I am the most cutest, stylish girl in the gym now. <laughs> Like, make sure you guys use my discount code. Check out the poison site, everything will be linked down below for you guys. I'm literally about to eat my breakfast and then I'm gonna head to the roof to take some photos and some videos. Me and Benson already went for our morning walk, but yeah, my little lover boy. You love mommy? Yes, you love mommy. Oh, this sweet baby. You're such a sweet baby. You're such a sweet baby. Don't look at all the mess in the back. Oh my god, it's literally it's so messy. It's breakfast for champions. I really do love a runny egg. I'm not in a drip on the other one. It's the way I have y'all in a bush, but I'm gonna take these pictures. This little bag has so many pockets. I actually really love it. We're doing video on my phone and then we're doing pictures on my G7X. 10 bad bitches in a match. Bridge so many rock them diamonds on me dance. When you working hard, then your money start expand. I got model bitches wanna lick me like some can. And them drugs come in hand. Last night, savage bitch, but no, I'm not ran. Hit a with no condom, had to make her eat a plan. And I'm sipping on that cold dean, not brain. I'm just starting on my ex bitch. I was just blessing on my ex bitch. That was really cute. I don't even feel like I need to take photos, but I'm gonna still do it anyway. Okay, so I have my Canon G7X Mark II. This is a digital camera. I've literally had this for forever. It's so fucking old. <laughs> And it's literally like so be top but you can wirelessly shoot so there's an app called camera connect for the cannons and you can wirelessly like your camera has a, a Wi-Fi button here on the side and it basically like and like has its own Bluetooth but it's Wi-Fi so you just connect your camera to your phone's Wi I mean your phone to your camera's Wi-Fi and then you open up the app and then you can wirelessly shoot yourself like a remote um and you can also download the images that are on the camera and all that fun stuff okay i think we got some good photos i just finished getting all of my content. So now I'm actually about to head to the gym. Now we can head to the gym. She's a content queen. Y'all, it's the way I was about to, well, hello. It is Friday night. It's the way I was about to do my makeup, like film for Instagram reels. I have on a bra, a bralette. Everything is sacked. I have on the matching panties. I love when I match my bra to my underwear. Like I love when I wear the sets together because I have so many, but sometimes I don't even prioritize that for real, but it just makes me feel so cutesy. I don't know why this piece is like not really straightening like that. Like you see how poofy that is and then how flat and sleek. Like, hello, the hair. I'm getting, I'm getting so distracted. But anyway, I was about to film doing my makeup for Instagram Reels, and then this man called me, and now I don't feel like I have time, because I literally have to leave, and I have to be ready to go in 35 minutes. So I'm about to just do my makeup with you guys, real quick, real simple, real cute. But yeah, we about to get glam together. I installed my V part. I'm sorry, this is my hair. Like, this is just all my hair. 
it gives my hair like i need those clips the man that just called me <laughs> A little background earlier this week i was in whole foods actually shopping for some groceries and this man just walked up to me and he was like i'm sorry i saw you when you walked in you are so beautiful i just had to say something and i was like well you're saying something <laughs> no i i was like oh thank you i want to brush my teeth again i already brushed my teeth today but i want to brush them again i'm gonna go brush them okay that is literally so much better like i don't know what it is about a clean mouth when i'm doing my makeup but i love the feeling like i love it so back to the story he was like yeah i just had to say something and i was like well you've got my attention how can i help you i was like wait you have an accent where are you from and he was like i'm from wakanda and i was like that's not a real place and he was like yes it is and i was like no it's not he had a really good poker face that's the thing y'all africans <laughs> i don't mean to generalize y'all that's crazy he was nigerian but y'all nigerian men <laughs> are good liars because he was he was low-key tricking me like he kept telling he was like it is a real place and i'm like no it's not that's from the movie he was like literally like no that's where i'm from like it's a real place and then i was just like and then he was like no i'm just kidding i'm from nigeria and i was like Mm. I feel like I have a lot of Nija babe friends. Well, not a lot. A lot is a drag, but I have a couple and they just be like, girl. But I'm like, there's a reason why we love them. <laughs> there is a reason. And I will say he was very tall. He literally was like, he had to be like 6'5 or something. Like he was freaking ginormous. He was towering over me and I had Benson and then Benson was like jumping on him and like wincing like he knew him and I was just like this is literally a stranger what are you doing like why are you acting like you know this person when you don't and I thought that was so interesting because he doesn't even usually like men in the first place like he don't even really like males he's not like he's strictly for the bitches like he loves girls he loves women he's such a like when there's girls around like he wants to just lay up and cuddle with them because he wants them to pet him and he knows like women i don't know he knows he's a little ladies man lover boy literally so i'm like why is he jumping on this man like he knows him like that was weird i made a mental note of that i was like and then i was like i always apologize when benson jumps on strangers because you know you might not want uh somebody's dog even if he is cute to be jumping on you getting on your clothes dog hair excuse me dog hair and whatnot he doesn't really shed like that but sometimes his paws you know because we're walking outside his paws will be dirty and i'm like i don't want him just jumping on people that's rude so i'm like i'm sorry he's like no it's okay i used to have a dog and i was like oh okay and then he was like wait are you single and i was like yeah and he was like oh so what are we doing like i need your number and then he saw because he saw my i think i made a face i be making faces y'all like i'm very much like whatever i'm feeling or thinking it's most likely being displayed on my face like i'm not somebody that can hide my emotions that well when it comes to like my facial expression so i think i made a face and he was like oh i mean if you're comfortable with that like if that's okay and i was just like i literally was like hmm, okay normally i won't say like because i get asked for my number so often like i try to sometimes be like you know what i'll take your number if i'm really not sure if i really want to speak to this person again because once your number is like in this person's phone unless you freaking change it they have your number forever and i just feel like that's a commitment and you're a stranger and i hate having to change my number but i be doing it because oh i was supposed to put my color corrector on but it really does make my under eye overall just brighter to color correct so now i'm a color correcting queen this is the huda beauty color corrector in the shade peach because i definitely am a peach undertone but yeah i ended up giving him my number and i was just like i asked him i was like are you gonna use it like i hate the fact that men will ask for your number and then never ever fucking call you or text you or like use it like what was the point were you just doing it just to see if you could like that shit is annoying so i was just i literally asked him i'm like are you gonna use it <laughs> you guys you have to understand like my game and it's not even game but like my riz Ooh, that's probably what i should call it my riz is like low-key being mean to men <laughs> 
that's my riz like i'm such a sweetheart angel baby to girls i love other girls and being nice to girls but like when it comes to men i'm just like i don't know like and i feel like it's okay like they get it they don't ever really have a problem with it sometimes they like it <laughs> so i was just like are you gonna use it <laughs> And then also mix in the fact that I'm from New York and like I'm just naturally blunt, straight to the point and a tad aggressive. I don't think I'm that aggressive anymore. I definitely feel like I've softened a bit. And he was like, of course. And I was like, fine. And I gave it to him and then I was like, bye. Cause like you're taking out my time where I'm shopping in Whole Foods and I thoroughly enjoy shopping there. One and two, like unless you're gonna buy my groceries, please get out my face. <laughs> but like seriously like i literally live in my own world like i live in my own world the second i hear or sense someone else trying to butt into my world i'm like mm, why are you here and then the fact that they're a man on top of it <laughs> as an aquarius as who i am just i know this about myself when somebody's trying to date me when somebody's trying to date me i'm going to low-key put them through it just a little nothing toxic or like bad but i just want to see like how serious you are because again men i feel like will play in your face like and if you're just too naive to that or like you're too nice to them then they take advantage because they're like oh she's nice like and i don't know like i no we're not doing that i kind of lost my train of thought but you guys know what i'm trying to say i like oh that's what i was saying i like to put people through it a little like i'm gonna make you jump through some hoops to kind of prove your love and i know love is like a strong word for like just starting but you know what i mean like i'm gonna make you like prove in a sense that you actually want to be here and that you're actually being serious about wanting to date me and all that stuff because if not then like leave me alone and it i feel like it does weed out so much i still deal with fuckery i think every woman does but it definitely boundaries standards whatever you want to call it like it definitely weeds out the the ones that are just trying to waste your time fuck around not be serious and i'm not i'm no longer like maybe a couple years ago when i was young and i was just having fun and i didn't really care like it's like okay for the moment for the vibe for the energy for the vibes you know for an experience you know a night out on the town just having fun and like never see each other never speak again but like now i'm just like bruh i will stay at home and rub my feet together and under my covers in bed watching netflix with benson <laughs> like and i'll be fine you really get older and you just become more and more comfortable in your own solitude i say all of that to say so that's how i met that man right he literally just called me out the blue and i'm like who the frig is this because i don't have the number saved or anything i'm not gonna lie i'm a curious i'm a very curious person when i get like a random number that calls me if it doesn't say scam likely i'm probably gonna answer it because i just want to know like who is this like how did you get my number who is this <laughs> like i literally and that was the first thing i said like answered he was like hello and i was like who is this <laughs> literally who is this i think i have an eczema patch on my hand and i have one on my foot on the top of my foot but yeah ciao he was like oh i don't know if you remember me and then he said his name and i instantly remembered him because of his accent i didn't remember his name because this was like a couple of this was probably maybe a week ago now it's friday yeah this might have been like last week like friday or thursday or something like that i don't remember exactly when but definitely like a week ago and he was like yeah i don't know if you remember me but and then when he started talking i was like oh the accent and i was like oh yeah i remember you you're from wakanda right and he bust out laughing on the phone like he literally was belly cackling and i'm like it wasn't that funny like it wasn't that funny but okay i think he was just flattered that i remembered and then he actually ended up saying that he's like wow i'm so flattered that you actually remembered me and i said well that was a very interesting response to that question it's kind of hard to forget and he was like wow that's so <laughs> he was like he was feeling himself a little because i remembered that he said he was from fucking wakanda had me questioning whether or not i was a dumb bitch like why would i forget that i feel like i'm very funny and i'm a humorous person so i like somebody that can make me laugh but i also like somebody that will laugh at what i say too and i feel like a lot of men they they say they like a funny girl they say they love when a girl's funny but then when you're when they actually come 
toe to toe with a bitch that can make them fucking laugh, can laugh their fucking boxers off. Now you're not funny. Oh, that wasn't funny. They're trying hard not to fucking laugh. And it's just like, you you know you want to laugh. But then I know you going and you stealing my fucking joke and you probably saying it to your bum ass friends. <sighs> continues on it's me telling you guys the whole conversation and honestly i don't care like let's just get into it he goes on to like ask i'm like oh so like why are you calling me because again like what are we doing here like what's the point of this conversation and if there's no point then can we end it <laughs> and he was like oh i just you know finished cleaning up my apartment and making and having dinner and you know i was thinking about you and i wanted and that's why i called and i'm like oh okay again what do you want <laughs> okay <laughs> you thought about me i don't even have no like i don't have a emotional connection or anything to this person so even you saying like oh i was thinking about you doesn't make me feel like oh because i i'm like okay and he was like um yeah so i was wondering if you wanted to like go and get a drink and i was like well actually i already have plans so i'm not gonna be able to do that i was like it is grammy weekend so i'm gonna be pretty busy the whole weekend and then i was like and he was like oh okay i was like maybe we can plan something for like uh you know the middle of the week or like next weekend or something and he was like you don't have, you don't you wouldn't be available like the start of the week and i'm like well actually and i don't like telling guys that i just meet like especially when it's like my birthday time that it's gonna be my birthday because i feel like that scares them away almost not even scares them away but like then they'll they'll kind of ghost for a little bit and then they pop back up like they disappear I don't like really meeting new guys like around Christmas or my birthday because it's like they know they don't want to do anything because it's so new. There's really only one guy I can think of that I started talking to right before Christmas and he actually got me a Christmas present and I was so surprised because I wasn't even expecting it. He ends up saying, he was like, oh, your birthday's on Monday? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh my gosh, don't tell me you're an Aquarius. And I was like, why'd you say it like that? <laughs> and he was like, because I'm an Aquarius. I said, ooh, interesting. <laughs> very, very interesting. The last Aquarius I spoke to was very nonchalant. Probably the most nonchalant nigga I've ever talked to. Like, talk to him pretty consistently because he loves a good chat the same way I do. But I don't know, like... I just feel like we were too similar like and that was really the first time that i really really was talking to the same sign as me like i don't be talking to aquarius men because i just feel like they act like they don't care and it's like we can't both act like that like we can't both act like that we can't both act like we don't give a fuck because guess what who's gonna give the fuck <laughs> it's not gonna be me and if it's not gonna be you then we're not gonna get anywhere so i'm like hmm that probably is also why i haven't heard from him wow so bright i love it so much okay so my new thing is i set with the easy bake and snatch pressed powder from huda in peach pie in my powder puff <sighs> all right in my under eye and i just press that in it looks so good and I bring it up on the sides of my nose because I want to, I'm going to let that marinate in proud pink. I love how pink this blush is. So girly and so pink. And I'm going to set my cream contour. And I don't go over my blush that much because I don't want to make it too brown. So it's really just my forehead, my jawline, now my neck. I'm gonna have everything linked below in the description box. And then I'm gonna take a little, a little bit of my Huda um, Loose Powder in Cherry Blossom Cake, which is the pink one. Oh no, Cupcake, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna just extra set my inner corner. You see that? It looks so good. I'm gonna do my brows. All I want in life is Zendaya brows. I also like literally stopped wearing highlighter. I like this spray cause it's like wets the powder that I have on my face and like melts it into my skin. And then I go on with one size, which is literally like hairspray. Yeah, and now I can do my eyeliner. My camera's gonna die so if it dies, then I'll just come back when I'm done. I love a straight wing.
that's how i'll be in the gym it's very light but it was this purple lilac liner from pixie beauty and then i'm not even gonna do a lip lip i'm just gonna do lip liner and it's gonna be the same gloss i got on which is the nude skin nude sticks lip glosses they tingle too they're lip plumping and this is the shade candy kiss i've literally been wearing these non-stop like there's a there's they sent me um three shades and i literally wear all three of them we just did pinky gloss we got the bust down middle part you know let me show you guys my outfit it's so cute literally from pretty little thing i picked it out myself um thank you very much okay so i had this really cute little pleated leather skirt and then this like really cute fuzzy pink sweater it has like that mohair look um that marnie did last season one of marnie's letter but i'll settle for this one because this one's really cute but when i saw this i was like literally it's giving marnie vibes um and then i have on my silver plt boots and my necklace is from Nimi Glow, black owned on Instagram. And also my ring is from Nimi Glow too. And then we got the nails. Like, it's just giving Barbie. It's giving Bob. And I'm probably going to wear sunglasses at some point in the night. And I think I'm going to do these. Yeah. Yeah. This is such a sweet candy-like fragrance. I really do like this. This is like, I told y'all a little story about this. This is like one of my first fragrances. But so. Look at this bag. Isn't this so freaking cute? Like what? This is PLT. But yeah, I'm about to head out. I will see you guys outside. the way i look right now it is officially my birthday happy birthday to me happy birthday to you happy birthday dear jasmine happy birthday to you start to sing with me i literally just had to go downstairs and pick up these gorgeous birthday flowers that i got from my mommy she sent them to me look at what she said she sent me too i'm about to call her back she was like did you get my did you get did you get something it's like mm, i don't know she said call downstairs and see so i'm about to facetime her back i love them they're so beautiful. Can I see them? Yeah, I'm gonna flip the camera. There's this one. They gave you two? Yeah, and then there's this one. They're so beautiful. And they smell gonna be one big one. They smell really good. I don't know. They're beautiful. Thank you, mommy. I love you so much. I'm gonna, no, I didn't read it yet, actually. I'm gonna read it. Wait, 
You sent me flowers? Huh? I said you sent me flowers, right? Oh. One of them, one of them is from Shanice. Oh. But I think you guys sent from the same florist. Oh, okay, okay. Because okay. I opened up, I opened up the card and it says the first one is from Shanice, and I was like, wait, that's so funny. Okay, oh, and then I have, okay. and then I have the one that you sent me here. Okay. Wishing you another year filled with love, success, and everything else you manifest. Aww. Love, Mom, Naughty, Bobby, and Logan. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Aw, you're welcome. Okay, so the purple one is for me and the pink one is for her, I guess. Yeah. I picked the purple one because you said you like lavender. I love lavender. And I think it has lavender in it. Does it? This is lavender, right? It's so pretty. Is I, it nice? Yeah, it's really nice and it's very heavy because they're it's in a glass vase, so I was like struggling to carry it. <laughs> and Shanice is where? She's actually in Thailand right now. Oh. She was supposed to come to LA for my birthday dinner that I'm having later, but she ended up getting a brand sponsorship um, and they flew her out to Thailand. Oh wow. Yeah. Where are you guys going to dinner? It's this um, like Italian restaurant, it's called Lavo earlier and he said if I want to come to New York, he'll buy my ticket. So I have to reach out to my management and see if they could still get me on the list for the New York Fashion Week stuff. Okay, you have another delivery? Hey, hey. Hi. Hi. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, yeah. Hey, thank you. Yeah. Hi, have a nice day. Thank you. Yeah. Another set of flowers? I don't know. I literally, I literally don't know. There's no, there's no letter. Oh wait, it's on here? Oh, it's from my management. Oh. They sent me flowers. Uh, so cute. <laughs> I feel like you never got so many flowers on your birthday because you're always traveling and everybody knows that you always are on a trip. Yeah, I'm not I'm never usually home. Yeah. Wow. I'm feeling so loved. Aw, you are loved. So beautiful. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> guys i'm feeling so loved and i haven't even you know what it is too like i absolutely appreciate every single person that writes me on my birthday texts me dms me comments calls me wishing me a happy birthday like i genuinely appreciate it but i haven't even said anything yet and i know like obviously my family and friends know that it's my birthday but i always get like re-surprised when i'm like getting the influx of messages and like calls and stuff and I feel like I haven't even said anything to anyone like this is such a pleasant surprise I literally like I want to say thank you so much to Shanice so Shanice sent me these gorgeous flowers look at how beautiful these are like I'm literally gonna cry but I'm trying to hold it in but like these are so beautiful and she sent me a card and the card is so beautiful I'm literally like stop it's so funny because they both came at the same time like she said jasmine the baddest to ever do it my sister my friend my travel partner i love you too they are tears of joy i promise thank you to my mom my mom and my sister my family sent me these gorgeous flowers these gorgeous flowers from my management. So, he said, happy birthday, Jasmine. Wishing you the best year ahead of prosperous 2024. Love, CFG. So cute. And they sent me 
a gift card to my favorite food place, Pine and Crane. They sent me a gift card <laughs> to my email. I was like, wait, who sent me a Pine and Crane gift card? Literally clicked it. It was for my management. So thank you guys so much at CFG. I love you guys. And then I have all these PR packages that I still haven't opened. And it's like, I feel like I should open them because it's like, you know what? Why not? But like, I want to move these. Benson, why are you playing on top of my clothes? I wasn't expecting any of that. And I feel like when you don't expect things, that that's when it's like, oh my God, uh, what a pleasant surprise. Chill. Okay, let's see, who's this from? Okay, so we got some makeup from Huda. Y'all know I love Huda. It's him taking the bubble wrap, I'm screaming. Like, what are you gonna do with it? You gonna step on it? It looks like they came out with, ooh, it says creamy. Huda Obsessions, Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. This looks really pretty packaging wise, like hello. This is like a neutrals, and then there are some shimmer shadows in there too. So pretty. New mascara, which I need. This one I've actually been really excited to open because I saw on the outside what it, where it was from. Youth to the People, one of my fave skincare brands. I just love their products. I feel like they're very straight to the point and there isn't a lot of like frills to it. And I love the eye cream that I just finished using. I think it's the caffeine ice, eye cream. And there's also a niacinamide serum that I use from them that I really like. But they just dropped body butter. I'm so excited. They dropped a body butter. Scented with yuzu and green tea and blonde woods. That sounds like it smells absolutely amazing. Let's open it. Sounds like it smells absolutely amazing. And the packaging is like how you would get a candle. <laughs> That's literally what it feels like. Ooh. Okay, this is what it looks like. Okay, it has a very fresh scent. I can smell the green tea and yuzu. Mmm. Oh. Oh, this feels nice. Okay, so feels like the Fenty body butter. Like that same kind of like, not greasy, but it kind of leaves like, um, like a sheen behind. And also like you feel it on the skin, like you feel, I think that's the shea in it, the shea butter. It feels very luxe. And that's what I love about the Fenty body butter. It's like, it literally feels so luxurious and it feels like very hydrating, but it's not, I don't know, it just melts into the skin and this has that same exact feel. Ooh. And I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I am not mad at this eight ounce tub. Like this is a nice size tub. It's Lancome. Yo, they stay sending me stuff. I gotta do makeup with this. There's so many goodies in here. We got the SPF. Oh, that's my kind of color right there. That's my kind of color right there. Pinky gloss, that's just like, it looks clear. I know I saved all this PR for a reason because it just feels like I'm opening up presents. <laughs> Still so much. Okay, this one I kind of already opened, but this is from Peace Out Skincare. And then we've got one from Glow Recipe. Wow. And it smells so good. I'm so silly. You gotta pull it like this. <gasps> Ooh. And then we've got a bio biosense overnight cream. Yes, it says overnight rescue replenishes skin barrier and it's plant derived squalene. So we've got, what's this? This palette. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, so these are the palettes. So it looks like there's contour, sculpting, glow, and a pop of color. So blush in each palette. Right here, so pretty. No. Hair gel. Hmm. I really like it. I'm I'm a sucker for like cute or like aesthetic packaging. Mm. And this is from Miche. I think that's how you say it. Oh, Mish. Mish. That is all of my PR. I'm so glad that I opened that because now I can start throwing out boxes and stuff. But we're going to dinner later. It's gonna be a little bit of a treacherous. No, it's not gonna be that treacherous. We're going straight from house to car and car to restaurant and restaurant to car and car back to house. So we should be fine. 
but it is pretty yucky outside i'm not gonna lie like i'm a little disappointed in the weather <laughs> but it's okay like i remember one year that i was in la for my birthday and it was literally like 75 and sunny and i was like wow this is crazy for february like i've never experienced this this is looking at me like girl you just tore up the house and i'm about to go lay down <laughs> i love you guys um i hope you're enjoying this vlog and i just want to say thank you in advance to all the birthday wishes that i know i'm gonna get under this video and in my comments and dms and all of that stuff i love you guys so much thank you so much i truly appreciate it i feel so loved i can't believe i have such an amazing community of followers and just people that support me and like want to see me win it's a it's an amazing feeling and i genuinely appreciate it so much i don't take that for granted at all like i feel super blessed happy aquarius season big up all my aquariuses in a bumba cloud building <laughs> and i will talk to you guys later Baby shrimp tartar. Yes. Okay, there's food that came. Yeah. 
Okay, I got the burrata. I as well have your sesame seed garlic bread right here for you. Now just come with three dipping sauces. I'll briefly explain that. Then we have our basil pesto, which contains pine nuts. And the colors also represent the thyme flour. Please enjoy. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so sauces. Uh, Mira's tuna tartare, and then I got burrata. I have a scallop for the last Thank you so much. Very good. What? It looks so good. Thank you. Yo, this is like. Yo, what is that? It's my truffle fries. I have truffle fries, but we can take. You can take this. This salad is for me. I don't see the meatball. Oh, there it is. I've never seen truffle fries so dark. <laughs> exactly what I wanted. It's so nice. Give me what you wanted, baby. I kind of do. do it like right there. That's aesthetically cute. Yeah, oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Let's back that up. Alright, so I'm going to cut it after you do that. Yeah, that's like great. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to get on it. Thank you. You guys, I ordered an espresso martini. Look at how freaking cute it is. Turn it to the top like like. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was so pretty. That is so pretty. Oh my god. Oh, with my espresso martini. Look at it, so cute! I know, it's so cute! Happy birthday! My bad. <laughs> it's the start of the take two. Happy birthday! Like an ensemble. That was actually so beautiful. It like was. it was so soft and angelic. <laughs> it was like that brown was noise. <laughs> that was very cute. Oh it yeah. Matched the vibe. Okay, let's the take my wish. Yeah. Send from heaven. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I know y'all saw Keisha Cole at Grand. This was not looking like that. Yeah. <laughs> and now I get to try my drink. Mm. You want to try? Does anyone want? Yeah, uh, I know. Jasmine, she got BTS. That's so cute. Wait, that did you like beautiful. the pictures? Do you know that that looks like maybe I'm drunk or just tipsy? But that looks like a, you know, like a room, like a room, like it's just like I know what you're. I get what you know what I'm talking about, like right. Try it. Is that ice cream? It's tiramisu. I don't know what that. Give me a definition. It's like chocolate mousse cake. It's very light and airy. It has a, a soft hazelnut like taste to it. A little coffee, a little chocolate dust. I don't like coffee. <laughs> I love the way that you described that. It was to perfection. <laughs> Great description. <laughs> they should, you should make a Yelp review. But I'm not eating that. <laughs> no, that's a big piece. I'm birthday. so happy that I love that it's your birthday. Can I, I love that you are a true Aquarius. You are like Aquarius. Like you're in there. You're I not am. a you're not a January Aquarius and you're not an end of the end of the year Aquarius, <laughs> an end of the month Aquarius. <laughs> you're, you're a February 5th Aquarius. Yeah. You're an Aquarius. I'm like smack dab. <laughs> Aquarius. Yeah. What's your big three? One more time. Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Rising, Capricorn Moon. Wait. Aquarius Venus. What's your Seven. Yeah. In your big yeah. three? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Right. My sister be reading me down, but she's so good at it. 
Like she tells me about myself because she like really is into that shit. Y'all hear that? And I love it. It's not like the rain, right? Mm -hmm. Like right there behind. Maybe the it's like a yeah, but it's not raining, but maybe it's like a something, you know, like the drain or something. Yeah. 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 What about um? What's your big three? Oh no. I love these conversations. This is like making you my heart I just want to, I just want you to know, I never knew what a big three was until I met this girl. <laughs> now I know I what my big three is. Yeah. She was like, like, I'm going to go home and look at my born? chart. <laughs> what time were you born? What time were you born? Stop playing luck. Okay, um, you what's your best? Because when yes. I really start oh, to I'm like nice. people, okay. um, I want to know what their chart is. Because I want to understand like, what it is. I would say I a sun. Why? You would give me a mixture between a Scorpio, a Sag, or a Pisces. Like, depict Any of those? Those pictures of like why. Do you want to hear that? Wait, I'm sorry, what? Do you want I to hear that? I said. <laughs> <laughs> she told me to guess. She said, shut up, baby. And I said, no. her her son would either be a Scorpio, a Sag, or a Pisces. Ooh. Interesting. What? Am I wrong? A Scorpio. A Scorpio. Okay. okay. Scorpio, right? That was really good. Yeah. That was, good. that was your first guess. That was my first guess. Scorpio was my first guess. Yeah. I don't know about the rest. I'm I just I'm new here. Why Wait, you why'd say you say Scorpio? yeah, why'd you say Sag or Pisces? Um <laughs> Pisces, I don't really know a lot about Pisces, but Pisces to me Pisces women to me are very give off a mysterious vibe. Sag gives off that confident vibe and then I feel like a Scorpio is a is a mesh of the two. And I yeah, and so like because the Scorpio is a mesh of the two. I was like, it's got to be like Scorpio has to be first. Mm -hmm. And if it's a little mysterious, then I'm like, okay, maybe a Pisces. But if you're more like, I'm here, then it's like Sag. Because you know, Sag is this fire sign. Yeah. So you give like a good balance of both. That was a great, like, robot. Thanks. I'm so new here, but I'm going to read it. <laughs> so. Thank you. Okay. That was really good. Which Do you want me to guess three? yours? Right. My big three? Okay, I'm a Leo sun. Okay. I'm an Aquarius moon. Ooh. And I'm a Sagittarius rising. Mm. Yeah. So you're fun. Yeah, I'm very fun. Yeah. Okay. I know. Fun. She doesn't take things time. too seriously. Yeah. yeah. It's light with you. Yeah, she it's she light with, with me. Flow. And I go with the flow. That's very cute. She but then, you time. know, my emotions, I feel like are the moon, right? Yeah. So with Aquarius, I was like, ooh, like, okay, let me see. Because Aquarius and Leo are like, you know? Mm -hmm. And then it's like they feel the weight of the world. And I do feel like that. Sometimes I be crying about worldly shit. Yeah. Like, no, literally. Me. <laughs> really crazy. No,